Hello, this is a short video on epigenetics, part of the genetic control unit of AQA Biology A-Level. Epigenetics is the modification of DNA uh, which affects its function. First of all, we need to make sure that you understand or remember that DNA is packaged into chromosomes uh, in eukaryotic cells, so in us. Um, and what you need to recall is that the DNA is wrapped around histones, uh, which is called open chromatin, and then those histones are packaged tighter together, and that's called closed chromatin. DNA can still be transcribed in open chromatin, but not in closed. Okay, DNA can be methylated. An example of this is a cytosine base can be methylated as shown here. That changes the shape of the double helix in terms of recognition by proteins. The second thing is to know that histone proteins which bind DNA in this packaging process can be acetylated. What actually happens is the lysine uh, residue gets uh, two extra carbons added to it and it's called acetylated lysine um, and that, again that changes the function of the histone. If we increase acetylation that prevents the histones forming a dense complex so it opens up the DNA if we decrease methylation, that decreases the, affi the affinity of the histones to the DNA, so that also opens up the DNA. So increased acetylation of histones or decreased methylation of DNA will give you increased transcription, and the opposite will give you decreased transcription or no transcription at all. So. So if, uh, try and remember that, possibly using this acetylation to A for add, so adding to transcription rate, and methylation M for minus, so reducing the transcription rate. Now we knew that this editing happened, this has been known about for a long time. Um, an analogy could be that uh, you have your own recipe book and you can edit it according to your tastes as you go through your life. But when you pass that genetic material on to your offspring, when you pass the recipe book on to your offspring, all of those little additions that you've made over time are removed. And what we've discovered more recently is that actually isn't the case. So uh, here's a, an example. If a pregnant woman smokes, the methylation of her DNA is affected by her smoking, and that affects her DNA, the baby's DNA, but also the DNA in the ovaries of the developing baby. So that DNA stays um, edited or changed, not mutated, just with methylation, methylation and acetylation of histones um, through the generations. And so we can get a, a situation where, as an extreme example, somebody who lives a healthy life has uh, speech marks healthy DNA which is passed on to their offspring and they automatically are more disease resistant because their DNA is in a better state. Um, equally if you do the opposite route if you have bad habits and expose yourself to carcinogens and other things uh, not mutation again not to talk about mutation but we can change the, the uh, methylation and acetylation of the DNA and the children inherit poor DNA that has the same genetic sequence but different methylation of the DNA and different acetylation of the histones which affects gene transcription and creates a less healthy child. 